Well, we're uh, all set to uh, to do some work on this uh, this uh, Martin Jr. and I've got it set up here on my workbench, uh, all set to go. Uh, we're going to be pulling the first, uh, probably the first five frets out of this guy, and you're going to see that process next. And you also see, you know, it's a really good idea to have all the tools that you're going to need laid out on the side here, so there's, you're not uh, fumbling around looking for tools. Just makes it a lot easier. So at this point, uh, I'm going to go uh, and put the uh, the cam on the overhead uh, view so you can take a look at what's going on. And uh, let's get those frets out. Stay tuned. Well, I got you set up on the sky cam, so uh, hopefully you can see this okay. So uh, what we're going to do, I thought, uh, uh, probably didn't have to tape these off like this, but just as a little added, uh, a, lot, a little added protection. Uh, I decided to put a little tape here. Um, I got a set of fret pullers here, um, and the big thing about these are is, is of course, the uh, the um, uh, if you want to call it the cutting edge is is right 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 sharp here, right at the end. So there's uh, they're very close uh, as far as where the pinch is going to happen. And what we're going to do, uh, I have my soldering iron that uh, I've let heat up a little bit. And all we're going to do is we're going to run, you notice by the way I've got a flat point on this soldering uh, gun here. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to run that soldering uh, iron up and down here a few times. And the, the goal is, is to heat up, heat up that fret. Just to heat it up a little bit. Um, just so we get it warm. And it's going to make the fret come out easier, we hope. <laughs> so we're just going to go back and forth a little bit. Warm it up. That should hopefully expand the wood a little bit, especially in this end here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to try the fret puller right now and see if we can get this fret to start to come out a little bit. And it was just easy, easy, easy. I put that uh, video on hold for a little bit because what uh, I had to do, no sense you watching me heat up this fret, but uh, basically what we're running into on this, uh, on this guy here is they've really, really glued in this fret. And what that means is it takes a long time uh, to get this fret to come out and a lot of heat involved. So rather than boring you with that details of what's going on there, uh, I'd shut it off and let this thing heat up. And uh, we now have that, that fret out of there. And uh, it was glued in pretty good. And uh, we haven't really done any, any real pulling or damage to the, the, the board. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to clean this, uh, this groove out. Get the guck out of it if we can. Because what we have, of course, in there is, uh, is residue glue that we don't want to have left in. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean this, uh, this out a little bit. Just pull out any, like right there, I've got a little groove of stuff there left over from the old glue. And we're just going to take that out of there, clean it out. Just like that, till we get it feeling nice and even. There we go. So uh, that's basically the process that we're going to follow for removing these frets. And like I say, uh, it, uh, in this case here, we've got very small frets involved and a lot of glue involved on it. So uh, the heating process, basically, the only way I get this fret out was to take it out a little bit at a time and keep applying heat as, uh, along the fret. As I as I slowly lift it out, little bit, little bit, little bit, because of course the goal is is not to uh, not to chip uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, fretboard, and that come out real clean. So I'm basically going to follow the same steps on the uh, the remaining frets here, uh, and maybe I'll try to do one more, so you can kind of see the action involved. 
So again, uh, it all starts off with, uh, with heating this fret, but now I know the amount of glue involved in this fret is that it's going to take a fair amount of heat uh, on this fret with the uh, soldering iron to get this fret to come out. So we're going to make sure we heat it up really good on this end because that's where we're going to start, uh, start pulling from. Normally, uh, the heat I applied right now would be enough to get uh, probably a normal fret out of anything, but in the, not on this, in the, not in the case of this uh, this guy. So we're going to give it a lot more heat, especially at this end where we're going to start pulling. Heat it up real good there. So now we're going to see if we can start lifting out this end here. Try to get down real low on it. Yeah, this one's going to come out a little, a little bit easier than the other one was. I hope. These frets are really, really in there. Yeah, they're really in there, man. So, uh, they're not coming out as, uh, Anything else I've tried, usually they're out really easy. A lot of times they'll come out, we don't even have to apply the heat to them. They come out really easy. But uh, this guy, for whatever reason, let's give it another shot here and see what happens. There it comes. Get my light down a little bit more on the side here so I can see exactly what I'm doing. So there's that fret. Now, I'm going to show you what I mean. I got the just the edge of it up. And I'm going to take a little bit of time, but in order to get this fret out cleanly, what I got to do is I got to keep applying heat all the way along as I go here. Heat it as I go to see if I can get it to come out a little cleaner. There she comes. Just doesn't want to catch. Try it again right here. Okay, still more heat involved. Not sure what kind of glue they used to put these frets in, but uh, whatever they used, once you get it hot enough, she start to lift out. And I'm pushing down, by the way, just so you understand, keeping, uh, keeping these, these jaws on the, uh, on the fretboard uh, solid so that you don't get any uh, breakout happening or uh, minimize the breakout. You're always going to get a little bit. Let's see what we got going on here with this guy. There she comes. You see, with the right heat applied, as soon as you got the heat applied on it, you're, uh, you're pretty well laughing, and out she comes. So there's, uh, there's the fret that I just took out. And again, you can see a very little breakout, nice and clean. And all we're going to do is we're going to take our little scraper, and we're going to make sure that we get the, uh, any glue that's uh, little bits that are a little bit right there. You can feel it as you go along. Break it out. There it comes. A little bit right here left. So it's a little tedious work as you can see.
getting the frets out. There it comes. There we got it nice and clean. There we go. So that's what the goal is, is to feel that just like that. Nothing catching now. A little bit catch right there. There it comes. A little bit right here. There we go. You can see it falling out below here. There it is. So we got two frets removed. So I'm not going to bore you with uh, on the video with uh, taking out. I still got. I'm probably going to take out three more uh, because it's basically the same process um, on uh, on the rest of the of the frets that I'm going to remove. Uh, so uh, I'm going to continue on with this, uh, and then what we'll do is we'll take up the video. Once I get the frets out, I get these slots cleaned out correctly, and then I'm going to. Uh, do a little light sanding with very light sandpaper just to clean that up a little bit and we should be at the point then where we're going to be putting frets back in so uh, hopefully uh, hopefully this job goes well and uh, stay tuned well uh, the progress has been uh, rather slow uh, I pulled out one two three four five the first six frets um, from here on in there's Basically no uh, fret wear uh, as far as gouges with strings. Maybe a little. You can barely see it on this fret. But when the fret is re-leveled, when I re-level everything, that's going to be gone. Uh, so again, uh, I'm just going to go through these. And you know what? I'm going to tell you something else. It's a really a nice thing to have. I got a set of, uh, of these little saws from, uh, from Stumac. And uh, they've got them, uh, you know, made... Uh, to go in and clean this stuff out like a very very fine blade so uh, this this blade can go right in there and we can just do a little clean out so you can feel it there grabbing that's the glue in there that's still in there and we get it out we're gonna do them all if you're careful when you do this and you just want to get to the glue you can just by feel is all you have to do you can feel the grab and then you can feel it there pull out like that so we've got a nice clean clean slot you can see that I can see the particles of glue falling out here you can see it over here too little little pieces of glue that that are falling out of this uh, out of the fret slot so these are the ones I've already cleaned out but I'm just making sure coming out here you can see it it's like little white particles of glue it's not the black fretboard it's the glue in there still this saw is actually a little thinner than the uh, this is a, a 10 one thousandths of an inch cutting uh, cutting saw blade so uh, when I'm doing this I'm not enlarging the size of the frets by any any means I'm just uh, grabbing the bottom of the frets making sure the glue's gone and then what I can do after I've kind of done that I can kind of use this tool and I can kind of run along and just make sure that it feels nice and smooth on the bottom that one needs a little bit right here eh? that's how you know just a little bit right like that there's a little bit right there too there we go. Let's just run this along. A little bit here still. It's important you get all this out. So it's not going to interfere with the, uh, the new fret going in and seating correctly. So uh, like I say, 
This is kind of an important step that I'm doing right here. That's good. A little bit more here. You can feel it. There we go. Now it's like the rest. A little bit, right? Right there. Just a little tad catching, you see, right? It's a little gob of glue. Right, right on that line there. You don't want to come out whatever that is, just a little gob of something. A little bit there, but no, that one's fine, that's up now. Yeah, right there. I don't know what's in there. There. Got it now. There we go. See all the little white glue? So, uh, just going to take a little bit of uh, very fine sandpaper. Get my box of sandpaper here out. I'm looking for... Uh, Looking for about a 15, 1600 grit, so just bear with me. And here we got a 1500. And all I'm going to do, take a little bit of this 1500, and I'm going to ever so slightly clean off the top of that, just where there's a little glue left, eh? on the top, you can see it, I want that level. So I'm just doing a little touch up here. Make sure we got no burrs, nothing sticking out where those frets are. important we get a nice nice uh, smooth top on here for the new frets to seed into just like that that looks really good and uh, we're just going to do a little cleaning on that just a tad What to use is like a like a lighter fluid or, or pure pure alcohol that uh, it uh, you can see it cleans it, but what it, see the dirt coming out, eh? You see what I'm trying to get rid of. And what that does is it evaporates almost as fast as it uh, as it hits the air, so it, it doesn't leave any residue on your uh, on your fretboard. Which is what uh, hopefully the goal is here is to keep that uh, keep that nice and uh, nice and clean. And now I'm just going to make sure here that we got this is uh, kind of nothing wrong here. 
and we're pretty well done. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'll take the webcam down and I'll give you a close-up here, close-up shot. I can turn my uh, soldering iron off for now. Give you a close-up shot to, to show you what this, uh, this fretboard looks like after we've got everything out of it. So just hold on, be right back. I just wanted to give you uh, just a, a really close-up video shot of what this looks like with those frets out. So you can see after I've taken the frets out, and after I've uh, I've uh, cleaned uh, cleaned out the uh, the slots, um, you can get a really good idea of uh, of how clean that all is. So yeah, she's in uh, she's come out really clean. Uh, you can pretty well. There's the you can see the see the the progression as I go from the nut down. You can see how clean they are now. That little mark right there. There's a little mark right here. That's actually right in the wood. Uh, I, I checked that. I thought maybe for some reason there was a little bit of glue there. But no, it, there isn't a little bit of glue there. That's actually right, just like there's another little mark you can see in the wood. Um, where is it? Right, uh, looks like a little mark in there. Um, but that's uh, that's got nothing to do with uh, any issue at all. It's just uh, sometimes the wood has a little little marks in it, as all wood does. Um, I think this is that rich light, if I'm not mistaken, which is a kind of a, an artificial material that's used. But anyway, you get, a, you get the idea of, uh, of where we are to date right now. So like I say, the next step is going to be, as in the next video, we're going to be uh, putting, uh, putting frets back in this guy. So uh, let's, uh, let's hope that goes well, so stay tuned. Well, I'm going to try to take you through kind of uh, the process of what I did here. So, um, what I did is I uh, cut frets in, into the uh, crack length. And uh, the other thing that I want to add is, is that uh, there's a little bit of an arch on, on the neck. So, um, you need a, a fret, uh, fret bender that will actually take the, the fret wire and run it through and it'll put a little bit of an arch on this this whole thing and then you can cut them to fit and basically the other thing that I did uh, to get these frets to go in a little easier so I used a little small triangular file like this and before I put that fret in I went back and forth on the fret slot just to cause a little bit of a V, if you will, right at the top here. Um, at that point, you take your fret, uh, make sure you've got the tang, which is the little part that sticks down that goes into the actual fret slot itself. Make sure you got the tang into the fret slot. I have a couple of fret hammers. I have a small one. Uh, I have also a bigger one. <laughs> and basically all you do is hold the fret in there and get the both, the both edges into the, into the uh, fret slot. Give it a couple wraps on this side. Give it a couple wraps on this side. And then what you'll have is you'll have both, both sides of the fret uh, into the slot. It'll be just the middle of it sticking up. And you need to give it a two or three, four really good wraps with the, with the fret hammer. Fret hammer's got like rubber... Uh, rubber ends on, edge, uh, ends on it here, so it's not going to damage the metal of the fret. The other thing I just want to make sure that everybody realizes is when you're doing this, make sure you've got a proper base underneath the neck of the guitar while you're doing this, this hammering in of the, of the fret. Um, you don't want to have something hard underneath here where it's going to put a dent or damage the back of the neck. Eh? So uh, as, you're, as you're hammering in, you're moving this this along uh, underneath where you're doing your hammering. So uh, just a, just a word of caution on that. Once we get uh, once we get the frets in, uh, the next step we're going to be looking at doing is uh, we have what we call a leveling bar. It's an absolute straight aluminum bar. It's got a fine grit and a coarse grit on on, on each side. 
you can replace the tape. It's a stick on like a 3M type of tape. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go in with the uh, with the the, uh, the truss rod. Make sure you get this neck in an absolute straight position. Once you get it in a straight position, you're going to take this and you're going to level the frets with a back and forth action like this. And uh, one of the one things that you can do is you can take like a magic marker and you can uh, mark each fret and uh, then what's going to happen is you move this leveling bar back and forth and it's slowly uh, uh, grinding away on the top of the frets get to the point where all the red's gone uh, there, there's no red showing through you know you pretty well got those frets all level and uh, like I say probably depending how much you got to take off I'd, I'd start with the coarse grit and then go to the fine grit to finish it off so that's kind of the, the next step to get that, that part of it done so at this point, you got the frets in, you've got the frets seated, you got the frets hopefully leveled. One thing I wanted to mention though, this case here, these frets were extremely hard to pull out, and these frets, man, it took a lot of pounding to put them in. There is absolutely no way those frets are going to come out of there. <laughs> so at this point, uh, usually what I would be doing is, is I'd be, uh, I'd be uh, cutting off the fret ends, with a good uh, fret nipper like this and after I got them all nipped off I, I, I'd probably be looking at uh, turning the, the guitar up on its end there and uh, make sure that the fret end is seated in correctly and I'd be putting a, a drop of, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, crazy glue on each, each all along this end all along that end to make sure the ends don't lift but you know in this case here I'm gonna forsake that process because these bloody things uh, I don't think there's, there's any, any way those frets are going to come out of there in any easy method at all. So uh, I think I'm pretty safe to, to forego and, and not put that, uh, that crazy glue in. So at this point, we're uh, basically looking at doing a couple things still left to do. Um, we have to dress the, uh, the edges of these frets. And uh, if you look closely at the fret, there's about a 30 degree angle on, on these frets uh, on the side here. And we have a tool. It looks something like this. It's, 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 a, it's got a handle like, like you can hang on to it. And it's got a, about a 30 degree angle with, a, with a, 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 a file set right into it. So basically what you do is you take this thing and uh, you, you run it up and down on this side. Now I've already done this side, okay? And what that's going to do is that's going to put a put a bevel angle on the edge of the fret, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to turn it around and you're going to do exactly the same thing for the other side. So I'm just going to demonstrate that right here. You, you can feel it. And you just keep going. And it's going to get closer and closer. And you're going to keep doing that until you get the bevel right to the edge of the, uh, of the fretboard. Okay? So uh, I'm going to continue on with that. There's no sense you watching all, all this work. And once I get that beveling done on each, uh, each side correctly, then we're going to come back and we're going to take a look at how we finally do the final dressing on these fret ends. Because right now, these are sharp. Quite sharp. And... Uh, I use a really nice little fret file, again, uh, from Stumac is where I get this one from. And it's got uh, a rounded edge on this end, uh, and, and it's, got, it's, got, uh, it, it's smooth. It's got a flat end on this side, and it's smooth. And it's only got the filing on each side, uh, on, the, on the wide side of the, of, the, uh, of the file. So what that means is you can go along on the end of a fret you're going to see this on the overhead cam and you're going to be able to go like that and you're going to be able to file that fret off but because it's got a nice smooth uh, surface on the bottom here it's not going to mark your fret your fretboard so uh, anyway uh, you do need the right tools to, to do this kind of work so anyways I'm just letting you know and uh, I'm going to stop right now and I'll continue on with this this uh, this beveling of the edges 
and we'll take up the video when I start doing the final dressing on these frets. So over and out for now, see you shortly.